counterfeits including anti-malarial drugs, antibiotics, cough medicines, contraceptives and fertility drugs valued at around 40 million US dollars were seized during numerous operations at the country's border points and airports. Part of the Customs Administration's mandate is to prevent our citizens' physical condition from being damaged. That is why Customs, along with other security forces, are struggling on the borders, be they on land, at sea, or in the sky, to stop the imports of fake medicine. Togo authorities hope that the seizures, together with the publicity generated by the burning of the fakes, will help end the illicit trade. The Togolese government has also indicated that this is just one of the many measures it has in place to stamp out the menace. We want to protect Togolese citizens against fake medicine. We cannot accept that our citizens are given medicine that does not meet the standards because people in good health are the first necessity for development. The government now expects that with more publicity, the country's citizens will be more vigil when acquiring medicines, even from certified pharmaceutical shops. You know, these counterfeit drugs can be very bad for your health. Thus it's normal that we fight against this plague, and that, as soon as we can seize a consignment, we destroy it. Last year, a large shipment of counterfeit drugs was seized in Togo, Cameroon, Ghana and Angola by the World Custom Organization in partnership with the Institute of Research Against Counterfeit Medicines during a massive search operation that uncovered more than 82 million doses. The World Health Organization says about 100,000 deaths annually in Africa are caused by use of counterfeit medicine. Norma Kugu, CCTV.